Now, let's talk about compounding more than one sale. When calculating compound interest, the number of compounding periods makes a significant difference. The basic rule is that the higher the number of compounding periods, the greater the amount of compound interest. So the following table gives this information. It is important to know the number of times interest will be earned if compound interest is applied. So for annually, that is given once. For semi-annually, that is given twice. For quarterly, that is given four times. And for monthly, that is given 12 times. Now, the formula for finding the future value for the compound interest that is given more than once a year is this, where F is the maturity value, P is the principal, R is the annual rate, N is the number of times the interest is compounded per year, and T is the time in years. So let's have this example number one. Russell invested 50,000 pesos in a bank that pays 8% compounded quarterly for five years. How much is his money in the bank after five years? So meaning we are asked to solve for the future value. So let us identify the given. So the principal is 50,000 pesos. The annual rate is 8% or in decimal that is 0 0.08. Now, N is four because of the interest is given quarterly so meaning that is four times and the time is for five years now the formula again for finding the future value is this so now let us substitute the given to the formula so we have f is equal to the p which is fifty thousand pesos then one plus r is 0 0.08 over n which is four then raised to n times t the n is four and the time is five now, do the PEMDAS, do the operation first inside the parentheses. So we have now 50,000, then 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4 is 0 0.02, then 4 times 5 here is 20. Now again, do the operation inside the parentheses first. So we have 50,000, 1 plus 0 0.02 is 1.02, then that is raised to 20. Now using your calculator, key in 1.02 raised to 20 equals times 50,000 equals, it gives us 74,297.37. Thus, the amount of money in the bank after five years is 74,297.37 pesos. Now, let's have this example number two. Chris borrows 50,000 pesos and promises to pay the principal and interest at 12% compounded monthly. How much must he repay after six years? So again, we are asked to solve for the future value. So meaning the 50,000 is the principal amount. The rate is 12% in decimal that is 0 0.12. Now the N is 12 because this is compounded monthly so meaning the interest is given 12 times in a year then the time is for six years so again this is the formula for finding the future value let us substitute the given to the formula we have now f is equal to fifty thousand. Three times we have one plus r is 0 0.12 over n which is 12 then raised to 12 times six now do the pemdas again perform the operation inside the parentheses first. So we have now 50,000, then 1.12 divided by 12 is 0 0.01, then raised to 12 times six, that is 72. Now, do the operation inside the parentheses, we have now 50,000 times one plus 0 0.01 is 1 1.01, that is raised to 72. So again, using your calculator, so key in 1.01 .01 raised to 72, equals times 50,000, it gives us 102,354.97. So meaning, Chris must pay 102,354.97 pesos after six years. Now let's talk about the present value 
of a compound interest in compounding more than once a year. So the formula is given by this, where F is the maturity value, P is the principal or that is the present value, R is the annual rate, N is the number of times the interest is compounded per year, and T is the time in years. So let's have this example number one. Find the present value of 50,000 due in four years if money is invested at 12% compounded semi-annually. So since we are asked to solve for the present value, meaning 50,000 is the future value. And the rate is 12% or that is 0 0.12. So N is two, that is compounded semi-annually and the time is four years. So again, this is the formula for finding the present value or the principal. So let us substitute the given to the formula. So we have 50,000, that is F over one plus, our R is 0.12 over N, that is two, that is raised to N times T, the N is two, and the time is four. Now again, perform the operation inside the parentheses first. So that is now 50,000 over one plus, 0.12 divided by two is 0 0.06, raised to two times four, that is eight. Now simplify, we have 50,000 over one plus 0 0.06 is 1.06 raised to eight. Now in your calculator, key in 50,000 divided by 1.06 raised to eight equals, it gives us 31,370.62. So meaning the present value of this 50,000 pesos due in four years is 31,372.62 pesos. Now let's have this example number two. Find the present value of 25,000 pesos due in two years in six months if money is worth 10% compounded quarterly. So we are asked to find the present value, meaning 25,000 is the future value. Or is 10% or that is 0 0.10. N is four since that is compounded quarterly and the time is 2.5 years. Two years, so six months, that is half a year. So that is 2.5 years. So again, this is the formula for finding the present value. So let us substitute. So we have 25,000 pesos over one plus R is 0.10 over N is four. That is raised to four times 2.5. That is the time. Now perform the operation inside the parentheses first. So we have now 50,000 over one plus 0.10 divided by four, that is 0 0.025. Then we have four times 2.5 is 10. Then we have now 50,000 over one plus 0 0.025 is 1.025 raised to 10. So again, using your calculator, key in 50,000 divided by 1.025 raised to 10 equals, it gives us 19,529.96. Meaning the present value of 25,000 pesos due in two years in six months is 19,529.96. Thank you.